on this Fit Life, we're at Mercy Health Tracks with Brandon Hetzler, and we're talking about something called proprioceptive training. Mm -hmm. What in the world is that? Uh, proprioceptive comes from the Latin word proprio, which means one's own, which essentially is summed up as your ability to know where you are in space relative to everything around you. The ground, the equipment you're using, and, and you, just self-awareness in space, essentially. Okay, and it's important for the ability to walk in a straight line or pretty much do anything else? Pretty much anything we do from a day-to-day -day standpoint, from an activity or a sports standpoint, yeah, it's quite important. And there are a couple of exercises specific to this type of training. Yeah, there's a couple things that we do when it comes to working on proprioception that uh, we try to incorporate in everything that we do. First one, if you could just get down on one knee. Okay. So what we do here, get you down on one knee, straightened up. Okay. Nice and as tall as you stay nice and tall. You can hold the kettlebell just like this. Just like this? Yep. Okay. Now what I want you to do is take the kettlebell and wrap it all the way around your head. Kind of in a circle? Yep, kind of in a circle. When you okay. go behind your head, so go again. Bring it down lower. There you go. Okay. Try and get as much movement as you can. So what we're doing here from a proprioceptive standpoint, now the kettlebell's wiggling around, moving around, changing your center of balance, and you're having to constantly adjust and aware. Oh. So what you guys can see is as he's moving the bell, his hips are moving, he's having to constantly adjust so that he's not falling over. Okay. You can go both ways and a hundred different variations of this one that we can do. Okay. But we don't live our life down on one knee. Not too many sports take place down on the knee. So we have to do something where we're standing up. So go ahead, stand up. Okay. Have you stand just like that over the kettlebell. Kettlebell swings are great, but they're not necessarily the most appropriate for this. So what we'll do is we'll get you down in kind of an athletic stance or a ready position. Okay. Okay. Nice tall spine. Reach down, grab the kettlebell. Now okay. I just want you to hike it like a football. Good. And set it down. Try not to let those hips come up. Okay. Keep the hips. Yep. As steady as really possible. Really want to keep the hips as steady as possible. When you I'm hike not that, keeping them. <laughs> go ahead. There you go. All right. And so what we're looking at with this is the same thing. That kettlebell is now bringing an outside load into the situation that we're having to adjust for and adapt for. So we're constantly having to readdress, readjust, and reacquire our center of balance so that you don't fall over. Because essentially, if proprioception training works or not, it keeps you from falling over. Okay. That's never All right. Thank you very much.